muy buena gente Ya estamos otra vez con The Long Dark Y continuamos en el episodio 2 Un oso cabrocete Unos perros que nos muerden Y bueno, vamos a seguir avanzando hasta que lo acabemos Que luego viene más Así que nada, os dejo con el vídeo Y ya me vais contando si os gusta o si no os gusta Si dejáis un like sería genial Y nada, dentro vídeo, hasta ahora Manoplas de Bellón. Venga. Uy, qué bien se ve hoy esto, eh. Brutal. Vale. Era el 2, ¿verdad? Sí. antes de llegar a la montaña vale vale Uy, se va de lado por el cico si es que va, va con sobrepeso el pobre hombre más ya nos acercamos ahí camina por el metal cadáver congelado eh, pues se mantienen eh, de una partida a otra no se borran eso está bien ¿Por qué me dices que tengo riego de, de lesión? ¿No? O de inclinación, o qué era esto. No me voy a hacer un esguince antes de hora. Y veremos al lobo, al, al oso, ¿no? Venga. Tiene hambre, por decirlo. No me da mucho. Volveremos a comer en breve. Ahí es, ¿no? Una cajita pequeñita. Y aquí tenemos nuestro botín. There you are. Yezka, bueno, adelante. Madre mía. Espera. Vamos a comer algo. Que lo necesita, pobre hombre. Algo más. Venga. Que no se me queje, ¿sabes? Que no se me queje. ¿Qué pasa, Generations? ¿Qué tal? Muy buenas. ¿Qué tal el fin de tío? He estado ausente completamente. Sí, tranquilito. Jugando, ¿no? A tope. Imagino. Uh -huh. Venga, Will. Tú puedes. Es un crack. Eres un crack, Will. Mm. 
Venga. Que la abuela aún va a estar vivo. Lo vamos a curar. Venga. Vamos, abuelillo. Mira cómo le pincha. Mira, ya está. Curado. Madre mía. Sí, sí. Esta medicación es brutal. Es un espectáculo. Probably a bit delirious too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? We don't have time. <coughs> We need to get a message out. It's important. <coughs> message? You mean to your friend asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. ¿Qué piezas? A ver, copié unas piezas, es verdad. Menos mal que lo mira todo, si no. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. Mm -hmm. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there. Hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out. Getting supplies. Finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Venga, va. Llévalo, pobre hombre. Cabaña el cazador. Venga, vamos a hablar con él un poquito. De la presa. Que nos diga algo. El lugar fue cerrado por el quake hace años y nunca se recuperó. Estaba ya muerto en el tiempo. ¿Qué significa? El dam data desde los 60s. Los industrialistas del norte querían usarlo para usar la ciudad de minería que estaba planeando construir. Pero el bottom se cayó del precio de coal. Y tenía que abandonar esos planes. Un fool intentó que se haga de nuevo en los 80s. Pero entonces los talkers forestales se involucraron y eso fue el fin de eso. Estoy casi seguro que los quakes terminaron el trabajo una vez y por todas. So, who are the forest talkers? Eco-terrorists. Activists, some call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Why are they out here? Well, they've been active for years. They come and go. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects. Like like forestry, mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. You don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry, but this is the way of the world. You have something they want, they take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Well, <laughs> Can you tell me anything about where we are? Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. Not much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. You've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. Whole area is mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. So, 
No other people living out here? You gotta understand. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. You meet anyone out here? Chances are they're hiding from something. Or someone. And you? Why are you here? I have my reasons. Por dímelas, tío. Dímelas. Te he preguntado. Ah. Me y el old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? Each other's blood, mostly. It sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton, but then... I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. Molino de la Perseverancia. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. <coughs> yeah. Shit, nothing town, north part of the island. Uh, sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there. My passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's all right. I'm sure she's alive. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange, but I might have an idea. Una idea. You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. Venga, pues eso me interesa. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio, but I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio and our survival is through that bear. Se me lo voy a cargar, ¿no? Pues vamos a por el horno. Espera, inquietante. What do you mean the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough. You get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now, the patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. No, not spooked, but changed somehow. Mm -hmm. Best way I can say it is, things don't feel right. Pues estamos listos. Okay, so we have to deal with the. Vamos a poner el oso. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So that's because the old bear is special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears, but I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, Magia especial. Magic. Don't worry, I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic, but we need the old knowledge, the old ways. What do you have in mind? 
There's an old story. Local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family have been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, yeah. a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her. Eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear. Like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks. <laughs> but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him. Half dead. Blood all over him. Body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear. Or any other. Again, years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the <coughs> spear stealing its soul? Las historias de las zonas de de alta montaña. I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truth hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious. But he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. Vale. We need to get Spence's bear killing spear. Pues vamos a por la lanza. Va a ser nuestra. Just still there. A couple of days journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> Madre mía. No. El coronavirus fijo. Oh, let me rest. Ah, vale. Está cansado. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right. Vale, pues a por la cabaña. Capítulo 2. Recupera la lanza legendaria. Ahí. Vale. Vale. 
Vamos a dejar cosas que, que voy a tope. No hay tampoco tantas. Es que... Hay que tirar esto. Vámonos. El mapa. Vale, pues vamos para allí. A ver qué nos dice. Si bajo por aquí, me escamocho. Si vengo por aquí, adelantaré. Es un atajo. Tal vez no. Mira, son ciervos. Los comería, pero no tengo hambre. Ven para acá, mira cómo saltan. Qué monos. Pero la barbacoa. Poder subir por ahí. Entiendo que sí. Entiendo. Por eso antes no me dejaba ir por ahí. Porque no quería que me metiera ahí dentro y cogiera la lanza. Imagino. O, o, o la información para poder avanzar. salido directamente wow madre mía torre de onda corta vale nada pues vamos para adelante a ver qué encontramos y ya está Podría llevar un... Que fuera franco. Franco tirador. Pues aún. Es que me falta un poquito de zoom. Por estos sitios. Venga, venga. Que nos llega la ventisca. Madre mía. Estamos liando. Mira, 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 mira qué rápido pasa la, las nubes, eh. Buah. Venga, venga, tío. Telita, eh. ¿Cómo suena esto, eh? Si tienes con el volumen alto. Buah. Me está dando un frío. <ríe> uh. Ahí imagino que me podré refugiar. Ha caído. ¿Esto qué es? Carbón. Para hacer fuego. Campamento de furtivos, vale. Pim, pam, pum. Nivel avanzado. Bien, nivel avanzado. Me encanta. Un manual repleto de consejos y detalles técnicos sobre cómo disparar con más precisión. Perfecto, ya lo hemos aprendido. Conserva equilibrio de naturaleza en áreas cercanas, reduciendo la población de lobos. Vale, imagino que... Mata a un lobo a la región de... Pam, pam, pam. Vale. Pues tenemos que matar lobos. Vale. Jugando, ¿no? Me imagino, ¿no? Están reventados. <ríe> ¿Qué de dónde eres, tío? No quiero. Esto sí. 
Bueno. ¿Para qué quiero carbón? Buah, no tengo, no tengo, no tengo madera. Espérate. Saco de dormir. Esto nada. Retal. Periódico. Carbón. No tengo madera. Necesitamos madera. Vale. Vale. Descansaremos por aquí, aunque no estoy cansado, ¿eh? No te creas tú. Pero bueno. Es que aún es de día. Es que, es que aún es de día. Igual comemos un poco. Bueno, nos calentamos, que tiene, empieza a tener frío ya el amigo. Vale. Vale. De la planicie. <risa> bueno, hemos hecho fuego. Qué raro se ve el fuego ahora. No, 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 no. Ya verás cómo se me apaga. Aquí, en el combustible. Vamos a cocinar Chichi, vamos a cocinar chichi Un poquito de chichi Dos chichi, vamos a cocinar A ver si podemos cocinar más chichi Elegir Bien ¿Podemos cocinar más cosas? Ah, vale Y mi saco de dormir ya que estamos, ¿eh? vamos a revisar lo que tenemos aquí de saco de dormir. Tengo demasiadas cosas. Con llevar dos me vale. Ya necesito saber que este saco. Nada, está bien. 78. ¿Y este de aquí? 84, vale. Pues entonces lo tiramos. Soltar. Y cogemos este. Ya está. Perfecto, para que esté a punto Una hora, madre mía Vale, por lo menos nos encontramos ya bien Veintitrés minutos, vale A ver si nos podemos arreglar algo Para me las puedo hacer y todo Me las puedo hacer Vale, 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 vale Fabricamos vendaje Si no se me quema Seis minutillos. No hay lobo por aquí, pero tengo que matar a un lobo antes de irme de aquí, ¿eh? ¡Ey, Gilaber! Escucha, ¿qué tal el fin de? Ahora te digo una cosa. ¿Bien? ¿Mal? ¿Esquiando? ¿Has esquiado? ¿Qué has hecho? Sí, tranquilito. Muy bien. Ah, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. ¿Qué te iba a decir yo? Pues eso. 
Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo. Y nada, en el siguiente vídeo, un poco más con Will ayudándola a sobrevivir y ya encontrar a su ex esposa. Así que nada, hasta luego.